Oh, just hold very still. Big machines lying still for long periods of time. All the medical talk, plus wondering about what the results will be. A process few of us look forward to, including Fox 7 photographer Clint Erbacher. Come right this way. Well, let me ask you, have you ever had an MRI before? No, I've not. Clint's having arm pain, so he volunteered to crawl inside St. Mary's new state-of-the-art MRI scanner. Just setting up for that first set. Are you doing okay? During the process, technician Josette Suit speaks to Clint through an intercom system, assuring him all will be okay. As we communicate with the patient during the exam, they can also see and hear us, which kind of puts them a little more at ease. And while all this is going on, Clint is in a virtual world of ESPN through these goggles. At first, when I when I went in, it seemed like you were almost like at a movie theater. You got the screen, it's in. Yeah, I didn't feel claustrophobic at all, and felt very comfortable. You watch TV or movies, and it's more than just passing time. Suit says for one anxious patient, it's already made a big difference. Didn't know they were going to be able to do it. She put the cinema vision on, went in there, and was able to finish the exam. A finished exam results in a clearer picture, allowing a quicker diagnosis for the patient. Could that possibly be causing some of the pain? Could be. The only thing Clint worried about was scratching an itch. I didn't know if I could move or not, but then I asked after the after the pictures got done, and I was able to you know scratch my neck or whatever, but it was, it was fine. Hospital staff tell us you'll have to travel as far as Michigan to find a similar machine equipped to entertain, calm, and give better results. In Evansville, Lindsay Merwin, Fox 7 News. Yeah, first time having my MRI, and yeah, I mean everything went very well. I felt comfortable. Um, the the goggles that they have in there make you. At first, when I when I went in, it seemed like you were almost like at a movie theater. You got the screen. It's in. Yeah, I didn't feel claustrophobic at all, and felt very comfortable. Did you have any anxiety anxieties coming into it beforehand? What did you think of it? Uh, before I got to the hospital, no, I didn't really think about it. But um, then. You know, a few people made some comments, and I was like, then I started getting a little bit nervous. But then the, the staff here at St. Mary's really felt, made me feel comfortable and made me feel at ease when they put me on the bed. So. And what were you watching on the cinema vision? Uh, I was watching Sports Center. That's uh, probably my top uh, choice on television. So I laid in there and watched that. Kind of closed my eyes, took a little nap. You know, so. Did you actually fall asleep in here? Or no, I didn't. No, I didn't actually fall asleep. You, you could interact with um, the doctor in here and see her and talk with her and you know she was able to ask me questions how I was doing kind of got an itch uh, through one of the process through one of the picture taking processes I didn't know if I could move or not but then I asked after the after the pictures got done and I was able to you know scratch my neck or whatever but it was, it was fine so for the most part the time was passing fairly quickly with the with the TV and yeah uh, the TV helped out a ton um, TV helped out a ton by passing the time it, I mean I was able to watch whatever and just kind of relax, sit in there and kind of think. So. so maybe the hardest part is not moving. Hardest part was definitely not moving, and when they were taking the pictures, it kind of felt like it was closing in on you a little bit, but I mean, it obviously isn't. And then once the pictures were done, there was kind of some, you know, well, when the pictures were, when they were taking the pictures, there was noise and stuff like that, but once you had the first round of those, it was perfect. So. What, what kind of problems have you been having? Uh, the problems I've been having uh, been with my right shoulder. It started out, and then it's kind of worked its way to my left shoulder. Kind of just sharp pains from my elbow up to my shoulder. So you know, hopefully this will show something. I don't know if it's I'm sleeping on it wrong or because of work or you know just kind of carrying around heavier heavier equipment that I'm not really used to. So what other kind of tests have you had? Um, some of, some of the other tests that I've had. I went to my family doctor. He gave me some like some muscle relaxant. I was taking that for about a month. Uh, it didn't seem to work. So then I had X-rays on my neck, and they came back negative. And he was, you know, he was talking about the next step is maybe an MRI. So hopefully this will be able to show me something, and I can get that solved. Anything else? Well done. <laughs> well, go ahead and have a seat because it's in it. Now, which shoulder is it that's bothering you? Uh, it was both. Both. Is there one that's worse than the other? Uh, Maybe go with the right one. Right, um, okay. Yeah, it, it, I think it probably kind of made it work as well. Okay. Your shoulder is going to have like a, a big cut, and then yeah. you're going to lay on your back, and your head is going to be on that pillow. And the
Okay, right now you're gonna hear that knocking sound, okay? okay. First set's gonna last for about 20 seconds. How you doing? Pretty good, you guys don't have Avatar by chance, do All right, we're gonna do our first set of pictures. This is gonna be about three and a half minutes, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Just hold very still. See where the patient. Here's a different view. It's kind of like a going to a front to back view. Coronal. I know that's for mine to. Yeah. So mine's a super spinatus tendon. No. Yeah, that's kind of coming in from the going this way. Kind of a sagittal, if you will. That was much better. That's right. They come back with a lot of stuff now. These manufacturers are telling us that it depends on like the gradient of the feet. parameters a little different depending on what you want to look at it tells them different things okay so um, was it like different angles on the shoulder uh -huh. or is that what like it was like different angles different um so like if there were tears and stuff you would be able to yeah see they'd the be able to see they'll look at those and if there's like a be able to tell if there's a tear in the rotator cuff or okay any of those this one's kind of as you can see it's a little that one was more grayish this one's kind of more more black and white mm -hmm different sequences tell them different things okay some are for pathology and then we did that's when there's any fluid in there you got a little bit it's like if we were to turn you to your side and look at you this way mm -hmm. at your arm the head of the humerus here's the rotator cuff here like if you're coming in from like this angle mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. little fluid in there the joint with that could that possibly be causing some of the pain could be Is that, I mean, yeah that'll be that's where the radiologists come in with their Detailed, you can see the flood again. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that, like that you notice that you know? Not that jumps out at me, but you know we will get these read today for you for yeah. sure. Okay, no, I was just you betcha. Cool. All right, awesome. Yeah. That fluid is probably my life. Down a little bit more. I don't see anything in there. Don't see anything. No. Should we be seeing? Yeah, you should be seeing the TV in there. About done, yeah. Got another interview. 